Leaders of a local high school failed a very simple math test, and it robbed many parents of the chance to see their kids' graduation ceremony. Scores of people, including parents, were not allowed into the Kennedy High School graduation ceremony in Sacramento last night. Today, the venue management said the school gave out too many tickets. CBS 13's Drew Bolea is getting answers tonight on what went wrong. Drew? Hey, good evening. Right now, there's going to be a police department graduation ceremony for Sacramento City police officers. But it was last night that there was a graduation ceremony for a local high school, and there were nearly 200 parents that were standing out here with those tickets in hand, and they weren't able to watch their loved ones walk across the stage. We can't get this moment back. My child, 17, I can't get it back. It would be better if, like, if they were in, like cheering for me and stuff. There was frustration and disappointment outside of an otherwise joyous celebration. Everybody was waiting patiently for over an hour, and then they just proceeded to close the doors on us. Shauna Hunter was one of roughly 200 people who were kept outside of the John F. Kennedy High School graduation on Wednesday night. Memorial Auditorium reached capacity before everyone could get in. People drove from miles to see my son graduate, and they just robbed us of it. So ultimately, not everyone was able to get in. So why were some people with tickets not let in? Gabe Ross with Sacramento City Unified School District says that there was a perfect storm of late arrivals and fake tickets. Certainly apologize for the, for the inconvenience, the confusion, and the upset that it caused. He told us each student gets a certain number of tickets, and family and friends can buy additional ones for $5 a piece. He insists that they issued fewer tickets than the venue could hold. He says they're looking at ways to improve the process moving forward. We don't have barcodes and scanners. Um, it's volunteers. Tickets are generally on card stock. But Brian Chatterton, the event services manager with Memorial Auditorium, says the school system may also be at fault. He told CBS 13 that the school sold too many tickets and may not have included students or faculty in the count. Well, somebody does need to be held accountable. Again, the school system says that their math was correct and that they did not oversell the event. There were other graduation ceremonies that happened within the school system as well, and no other reports of counterfeits happened at those locations. Well, Drew, it's hard to believe that. The, how can they say their math was correct? I mean, they're not just a few people. There were scores of people out in front of that auditorium last night. They just messed up big time Close here. Close to 200. Somebody oh. definitely messed up the numbers, that's for sure. No question. Oh, you just it. feel so bad for the students and the parents. I can't even imagine not being there. My okay. goodness. Good report. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot, Drew. Appreciate that. The G